is it audible yes, yeah okay so welcome to the class of uh, theory of computation uh, today what we'll learn is uh, uh, we'll start from the unfinished problem in the last class in the last class uh, we have studied about uh, one of uh, uh, one of an abstract one of the abstract model of computation that is non deterministic finite automata uh, we have also gone through uh, what we call as a transition function of a ndfa and uh, uh, and uh, uh, extended transition function also and we have uh, solved one problem which which uh, tell us that we can convert a nfa into a deterministic finite automata uh, so so due to time crisis uh, we stopped at uh, one of the unfinished problem so we'll start from there and uh, what we'll cover today is uh, we'll cover another uh, automata called as non deterministic automata with empty transitions okay so so let us start from the uh, unfinished problem so just let me write it unfinished problem of last class first we'll solve that then we'll go through so so the problem we have uh, discussed is just a second yeah so the problem uh, was like this so we have an alphabet set of zeros and ones and we have set like p q r s okay from p with a uh, with the input symbol 0 i can go to q or s and with one i can go to q uh, from q i can go to state r and with one i can go to q and r with r it is s and s and with s it is q and p and my starting state is p and my finishing states are both p and q so clearly this is a nfa because tell me why it is a nfa yeah, because with a single input uh, like it is making more than one transition so for example in p uh, when we get a input symbol 0 we can make a transition both to q as well as we can make a transition to s okay so that is why it is a nfa now let us uh, uh, so earlier the way we have solved is we we were blindly creating the number of st states of a dfa as the power set of the nfa so here for example it has four states the nfa has four states we are creating 2 to the power 4 that is 16 states okay so it may not be a good idea to blindly create a uh, 2 to the power n states because it will lead to memory issues when you will solve the problems uh, means through a program computer program you will find that memory is a very important issue and you have to take care at every step okay so so we'll solve this problem in this way suppose so we'll start with currently uh, the nfa is in starting state p so let me write down first the alphabet of a dfa will be what of a nfa okay now let p be represented as state a so currently the dfa has state a okay so i am writing in this uh, i am writing in this way suppose let me create this thing does not straight line but it's okay so currently i am in a so this is for a dfa okay 
I am in state A, which is nothing but P. So with zero, what is happening? With zero, it is uh, I can write here the transition functions. So delta of a comma zero. Okay, what will happen? Delta of a is what? That is delta of p comma zero. So it will be it will be delta of q comma zero union comma zero. Okay. So what it will be? So q with zero it is going to r and s with zero it is going to q. So r comma q this new set is is a unique is a new set uh, so I can represent it as b. So currently in my bucket I am processing this set element p and I found that I have to create a new set that is q comma r okay I represent it as b okay in the column I put a row add a row that is b okay and here with 0 I uh, fill the uh, that cell with a 0 it should contain b understood or not okay so with 1 what will happen delta of a comma 1 is what delta of q comma 1 what is q comma 1 is q r ok so so with q comma just a second p with 0 yeah so with uh, with uh, a comma 1 is p comma 1 is uh, no 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 just a second with a comma 1 it is what it is q no it is delta of p comma 1 a is p so it is q okay and this q is again a unique set because we do not have we have only two uh, set of states that is one is p and one is q comma r okay so we will add one more state to it that is q and represent it as c okay and i will add one more column uh, one more row to the dfa table that is c and i will put here a with one as c understood okay now now i will move the arrow to the next element that is b okay i have to fill the transition table for the state b so what is b b is a set of state of q comma r so if i write delta of b comma 0 what will happen so it will be delta of q comma 0 union delta of okay so what what it will be so q comma 0 is what r okay and uh, r comma 0 is what s so again this new set of state is unique so i will add here as r comma s i will represent it as d i will add one more row as d okay and i will put that b comma 0 is d understood <coughs> so so what we are doing we are taking a greedy approach only when we need a unique state we are creating that state otherwise we are not creating okay you will see where uh, the redundancy will be so now now with b comma 1 what will happen can you tell me yeah you can just uh, tell me so that I can uh, write it blindly. Uh, so it will be q, q comma 1 will q comma r comma s. Okay. So again it is a unique set of states. So it will be q r s is represented as e. Okay. 